I'm Dr. Rodney Davis from the Department of Urology. I am the chair of the Department of Urology here at UAMS. The majority of them have no symptoms. They are tumors that we find incidentally because individuals have imaging studies done for um, abdominal pain or uh, they have uh, back pain and they have an MRI and, they, and it finds an incidental renal tumor period. The incidence is going up and it may be because that we do do so many imaging studies at this time um, and the majority of them are very treatable. Uh, the um, five-year survival from the discovery of an incidental kidney tumor is about 95 percent. The most common way that we address them is usually with a minimally invasive technique if possible. And those minimally invasive techniques will consist of a laparoscopic partial nephrectomy. That's where we just excise that portion of the tumor itself. If the tumor is large and it involves the entire kidney or the majority of the kidney so that there would not be enough kidney left to, to function, then we will remove the entire kidney and we usually remove that using the same minimally invasive technique such as laparoscopic nephrectomy. In smaller lesions, uh, there is the option of actually freezing the lesion, lesion in the kidney uh, so the tumor can be frozen using cryosurgery. Okay? Or it can actually be treated with heat using what we call radio frequency ablation. And these can all be done either with the aid of an imaging study such as an ultrasound or MRI or a CT scan. Um, some of these lesions can be actually visualized uh, using a laparoscope and then the, the, the probe that will either freeze the tumor or um, ablate the tumor will be placed under direct vision. With regards to symptoms if you do have a tumor, the classic triad is flank pain, uh, abdominal mass, and blood in your urine. But we see that less and less frequently now because of the incidental finding. And so we find the tumors at a much earlier stage.